Good morning. It is Wednesday, April 22nd. Actually, I got to confess, it's still Tuesday, April 21st. Uh, I am pre recording Wednesday's uh, devotion today. Uh, just to give us some comparison, we continue to look to see how we can in- improve the quality of uh, the different videos that we are putting out on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And so we're trying this pre-recorded to see if that helps in the quality uh, of the video that you are able to view and see. So we're going to be doing that today. But again, a devotion for Wednesday, April 22nd. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading for today is the first reading during the uh, for this coming Sunday during the season of Easter. If you haven't noticed this before, rather than having an Old Testament reading each Sunday, they uh, bring readings from the Book of Acts, written by Luke, uh, into the regular rotation uh, worship service. So the reading for this coming Sunday, which is the third Sunday of Easter, comes from Acts chapter 2. It's actually part of the Pentecost account and specifically uh, Peter's great sermon that he preaches on that first Pentecost. So our reading for today comes from Acts chapter 2, an introduction in 14a and then uh, jumping to verses 36 to 41. But Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them. And then we jump to verse 36. Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children, and for all who are far off, every one whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And with many other words he bore witness and continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized, and they were added that day about 3,000 souls, his voice, and addressed them. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, uh, this, was, this was spoken by Peter, inspired by God himself, So it's a word that still comes to you and I today. You can imagine that for the people who Peter was first preaching this to, their world was being rocked. Uh, The religious leaders of the day, the people of that day, had followed this Old Testament teaching and had become very much a, a people who were looking to themselves and their own righteousness to be saved by God. And, and now their entire world was being rocked for they were told that, you know, that guy that you killed, that you crucified, well, God has made him Lord now. You can imagine how, how mind-boggling that had to be for those people, how in many ways very scary it was. Well, it wasn't just them, was it? It was you and I too. It was you and I because of our sins who also nailed Jesus to that cross. It's you and I who still try very hard to live according to our own righteousness rather than be saved by the righteousness of Christ. How often do we 
think about trying to be a good Christian, which isn't wrong in and of itself, but how often do we do that seeking to find favor with God or to somehow please him? No, to, to those people of Peter's day and to you and I, it, it must be earth-shattering. It must uh, upend us, those of us who, and it's all of us who try and live by our own righteousness that know this Christ that we killed is the one who is now made Lord. And so like the people in the hearing that day, we too cry out, what, what then? What now? And Peter answers this question, which it reminds me of in Luther's 95 Theses, the first one, uh, where he says the life of a Christian is one of repentance. So Peter says, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And so we turn to God and, in a way, offer him the only thing that's really ours that we can give to him, and that's our sins. We repent of them. We look to him for forgiveness, which he earned for us on the cross. What a, again, mind-boggling thing that this horrible thing that we, through our sins, have done to Jesus is that thing which God has deemed to save us by his son's death and resurrection. What a beautiful and comforting thought as we, we try to seek, whether in these days or in any day, to try and do what is right, but yet we find our hope and our salvation not in what we do, but in what Christ has done for us. In that we find our true and ultimate hope and peace today and every day. In Jesus Christ and him alone. Later on, Peter talks about this crooked generation. Certainly, if you study history and look at the Roman Empire, uh, they were not saints in any way as we would use that term. But how is our generation crooked? Uh, how have we turned away from God and, and live, the wor live in, in this world and and what in God's eyes are such crazy, crooked things. And one of my hopes and prayers is in the midst of this COVID crisis that we live in, that God would use it to reorient us, to straighten our, us and our lives out in the way we live as his redeemed children of God so that we can rediscover uh, the places that we truly find comfort and peace, hope and joy in Christ, not in our activities, our busyness, all the fun things we do, although they, they are wonderful, but we look to Christ and him alone for hope and salvation that transcends our lives in this day. So as he says, repent and be baptized, which like me, I'm thinking most of you have been too. And in so doing, we have received the forgiveness of Christ, the work of the Holy Spirit to call and make us his children to continue to strengthen our faith in him. Let us continue by confessing our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Heavenly Father, as we come before you this day in prayer, we remember everyone who is sheltering at home. We pray that you would bless uh, families as they are gathered together for long extended periods of time that you would work in all of us a, a grace and a love and a forgiveness for one another as you have shown us grace love and forgiveness that you would bless this time for us that we would grow together in love for you and in love for one another bless uh, husbands and wives bless parents and children and siblings lord uh, that we can see in one another uh, the gift of you and the gift of them to us from you bless and protect us all in jesus name amen almighty god merciful father who created and completed all things on this day when the work of our calling begins anew we implore you to create its beginning direct its continuance and bless its end that our doings may be preserved from sin our life sanctified and our work this day be well pleasing to you through jesus christ our lord amen I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Go wash your hands.